Good morning to you. I'm Jeff Slakey. I'm happy to focus on Shelton Thursdays at this time, sponsored by our community credit union. On the air with me today, Ryan Wheaton, Shelton City Manager, and from Sierra Pacific Industries, Lisa Perry. Good morning to you both. Happy New Year. Same to you. Good morning, Jeff. Thanks for coming in and exciting here to talk new year and talk about some of the progress that Sierra Pacific Industries is doing. You can find them online at spi-ind.com. We'll again give that link at the end of the interview. But uh, as I see, a lot of work going on down there at the waterfront. How are things coming along? It's pretty exciting. We uh, met our goal of at least having a test log go down the um, down the main first main saw line before the end of the year. So we had some test logs delivered uh, about around de- middle of December, and we actually saw some activity down the main line um, wow. uh, by December 22nd, 23rd. So that's great. So there's things moving in there, so that's pretty exciting. Instead of construction noises, there's sawing noises. Yeah. So something I think folks around these parts would be happy to hear come Absolutely. back to the, to the area. So. Uh, Ryan, how, how have things been going between the city and Sierra Pacific as, after these uh, couple of years now? From my perspective, very well. I started four and a half months or so ago. One of the first groups that I met with was SPI, so I went down and met with Lisa. And I told her and her team that my goal was that when we have our next employer come to town, that our hope was that we could develop a partnership where SPI could be a reference for us and talk about the positive things that we can do to help them get started. And the work that we've helped them do, I think, has been challenging because we have never handled a project this size. Uh-huh. We're trying to figure out how to do it, but they've been great to work with. And I think that they're going to be a positive addition to this community. It is very exciting. And what's kind of the timeline moving forward? I know you have a couple of uh, career opportunities available. You can find them under the careers tab on the website. Mm-hmm. Uh, where, are we, where are we at with that kind of thing? And uh, just a f- timeline for the rest of this year. Yeah, everybody keeps asking me for the start date. Yeah. I think there's going to be a the start date through the thing. So like I said, we're doing some testing. So we had a really exciting thing happen at the end of the month. The people that were working on our labor pool, um, through the construction process got first dibs on all the operator and forklift jobs that were opening up so for christmas presents they all got seven to nine dollar an hour raises because they took operator positions and forklift positions and all that stuff so that's what we're doing tomorrow is we're opening up a new labor pool app because i think i don't know if people realize but that's where we're going to hire all the operator positions out of okay Uh, make sure it's a good fit with spi make sure you like us and then uh, they'll move up and people are going to move out of that labor pool really quick because this first saw line starting production so as those machines come on and then right after that the kilns start up and then right after that the planer starts up and then right after that the second saw line starts up and wow and then after all that happens, then the night shift starts up. So it's going to be a constant five to ten people all the time. So we're up over, I think, 80 employees right now. So. That's great. So um, And then we also have the fabrication shop that's got constant needs for fabricators, welders, and labor. So um, there's a lot of stuff going on. Again, it is important to check out at spi-ind.com. Right there you can see the careers tab. And not only uh, look at the jobs here in Shelton, but throughout your whole uh, all your properties there right we did a have few. a few people move around so it's created openings in all of our position in all of our Washington but the best mills. jobs are here well, the uh, best obviously jobs are the right best here. jobs are right yeah. here in, in and there's going to be a lot of jobs I and mean, we expect this to be 200 people all together and we have 80 so if you do the math still that's looking a lot for of a good a good um, handful and it's not just mill jobs we have mechanic jobs open right now we have chip truck drivers open right now we have fabricators and welders like i mentioned so lots of different kinds of jobs open. that's exciting uh again when it comes to this size of a footprint for you guys is this a standard uh, mill that you're doing or is now it's all top of the line with computers doing a lot of things uh, again refresh us on the on the the this particular part of Sierra Pacific this is one of the largest stud mills in North America if not the largest volume one um, in North America so it's not a standard mill I don't think by anyone's um, thing and it's also going to be the most modern the most top of the line I mean we went all over North America looking at equipment um, so uh, the fire department actually went through and did a tour and a training on the property last week and um, Lieutenant Griffey Dan Griffey came uh-huh. through and he said I can't wait for everyone to see that because it's so modern and so top of the line and it's gonna be really fun to show people and have I think people will come to Shelton to see it I think so too and with uh, both 
Dan, no. 35th District Representative Andrew McEwen and Senator mm -hmm. Sheldon getting ready to head to Olympia. I bet uh, you, you'll probably get requests for quite a few tours to come yeah, through here we're and excited see to show what it things off. look. Yeah, I bet. Uh, Ryan, is there any more that uh, you guys are doing to help uh, Sierra Pacific around the roads around the outsides of the area to help uh, with flow, traffic flow like that? Or has that even been part of a discussion yet? We've had some discussions about that. One of the things we looked at uh, last month was one of the streets. So we looked at Mill Street. Mm -hmm. And I think part of what SPI is doing, they're obviously investing more money in this community than anybody's ever invested in such a short amount of time. They're ever expanding, so the fabrication shop is an addition. They're also looking to utilize the old Six Simpson uh, truck shop. Yeah, yeah, and I think it was l lately used for forestry, for cooler and all that. So those things, as they develop, then we go in and assess what the needs are for them, the neighbors around them, and also the traffic. But we are excited to have them. They're doing a great job, and obviously their business and their industry is something that this community is comfortable with mm -hmm. and knows very well, and so it's going to be exciting when they actually get up and running. Well, really cool to hear about the uh, test logs that came through last month, and again, kind of maybe not a, not a super... I mean, you got to have a ribbon cutty, but mm -hmm. but maybe you'll see it slowly ramp up and uh, definitely get those job uh, applications in there. If maybe a, an additional 120 folks or so around these parts, if you're looking for 200, yeah, and you're at 80 now, that's that's a good yeah, and that'll be a process over the next six to eight months. And I really feel like I, sh I should chime in on the question about yeah, the city. The please. city um, has been incredible to work with. We're three to six months ahead of schedule because of uh, the way they've been over backwards to help us, and uh, we all work together to make sure. I mean, because there's lots of back and forth on all this stuff. You know, mm -hmm. what what does it take? to meet this code and all that kind of stuff and they've been great to work with and, and Ryan's been a great addition so we're excited to be here and excited to have all the support yeah very cool well it is awesome to see the stuff come up here the starting the cuts of logs and uh, we'll, we'll move forward with that as we're talking with Ryan Wheaton Shelton City Manager and Lisa Perry from Sierra Pacific Industries again you can find them online at spi-ind.com they're also on social media Facebook search for Sierra Pacific Industries and on Facebook uh, Twitter as well sierra pacific i n there on twitter lisa ryan thanks for coming in Our pleasure thank you great thanks to see us. you happy new year do you know you have access to the fastest internet in Washington State? Switch to iFiber Communications right now and take advantage of our special offers. Pay only $29.95 for 100 megabit high-speed internet or get three months of internet absolutely free. That's right, $29.95 for 100 megabit speeds or three months of internet free. Shop, stream, and game like never before with iFiber Communications high-speed internet. Call 360-427-4000 or check us online at iFiber.tv. Subject to credit approval, valid on a 24-month contract. 